Hello. Can you hold on? Hi. Um, I just have a quick question I was wondering if someone could help me with. Okay. Do you have a minute? I have a minute. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Well, um, I found this really interesting article on the JW.org website some witnesses told me about. I just had a question okay. about this one article. It's about... Um, one of, I guess it's one of the leaders of the Watchtower, Garrett Loesch. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, well, I thought it was really interesting that he, um, in his story, this article tells about his story of, like, becoming a Jehovah Witness. And um, he talks about that he felt like, um, well, he was raised, he seemed like a nominal Catholic because he was only, I think, 19 or 20 at that time. But um, he said he felt like the root of their teachings was the uh, papal infallibility. You said which one was? What? You said the root of his teaching. You said the root of his teaching Yeah, the, was... the root of Catholic teachings or the, uh-huh. the basis, the foundation of their interpretations mm-hmm. of the Bible was papal infallibility. Um, okay. And so that's what he looked into. Like, is that... Is that um, reasonable, or is there any evidence for that, et cetera? So then he felt like if um, that wasn't true, then, um, you know, their interpretations of the Bible probably weren't true. Mm-hmm. But, you know, like this sentence, it says, but if he, if the Pope is in, not infallible, then the doctrine may be false. No wonder that for many Catholics, the teaching of apostolic succession is the most important teaching, since the correctness of other Catholic teachings hinges on it. So I was just wondering, um, couldn't the same thing, the same logic be applied to the governing body? Um, Because they said they're not infallible or inspired. Correct. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, so so when you you base things off of human um, knowledge, Uh that's the that's the case all across the board. Right. But you can't, you're not going to be able to escape that if you're basing it off of human right. thoughts or human And they, they are human, aren't they? They certainly are. <laughs> yeah, they're, so the, they're, the, to, they're the ones dispensing yeah. the doctrine for Jehovah's Witnesses. So when it comes to um, the governing body, uh-huh. so what they do, they don't, the, the, the difference is they don't make up or pretty much use their opinion on how they feel things should go. Okay. Or how so where do they get it? Bible. The scripture. Okay, so well. Everything off of is on the Bible. Yeah. Well, when you make an interpretation that has any uh, words that are not in the Bible, you're making mm-hmm. an interpretation. So let's not confuse the issue by just saying they only <laughs> say what's in the Bible. And also, there are many changes on important doctrines, um, you know. So when you're saying, because uh, our teachings, everything uh-huh. that we teach, everything we believe is based off the Bible. Yeah, and they said that in the 1800s, too, mm-hmm. about things that they don't teach anymore. Mm-hmm. So, <laughs> so, so when, you see so the problem there? Clearer, yeah, so when you get a clearer under because the scriptures don't change. The scriptures don't change. So for us as a people, have we as Jehovah's Witnesses had certain things incorrect? Have we seen that we've had certain things incorrect? We sure have. Yes, and, so and they call them the incorrect. Yes. Thing, I'm sorry? Yeah, but you know why that's a problem? Because they claim... So so when we see the incorrection, Mm -hmm. so when we see that there's a change that needs to be made, Mm -hmm. it's made. So So does that mean what they were... We're not just going to say, we're not just going to keep something or keep believing something Uh or just based off of pride. Just like, oh, well, you know what? If we change it, people will think we're wrong. No, that's not the case because we know that the Bible is inspired of God. So... The Bible has been right the whole time. What we may have been doing, or what we, how we may have viewed it, may have been incorrect because we're imperfect. So um, if we see that, if we see the need for a change, then yeah. we make the change. Yeah, that absolutely. would be that would be true of just you or I, since we don't claim mm-hmm. to be Jehovah's only channel of communication. We don't tell mm-hmm. people you should respond to our directions as you would to the voice of God, which they have said. Mm-hmm. Why should you have to well, obey them as the voice of God, then, if they're just on the same level as any other person? Well, the, Would you they, say they, that about yourself? They're perfect humans just like us. Yeah. We don't worship them at all. Yeah. Did you hear they're what, I, did you hear what like I said? Us? That no. they require yeah. that you respond to their direction, 
which they say comes from Jehovah, as you would to the voice of God. So that you're holding two contradictory ideas then. You're saying, well, you know, they're just imperfect, but whatever. They put the people at that time, like when they taught that Jehovah doesn't allow blood fractions or alternative civilian service and other things, they suffered Mm -hmm. for that tremendously. You're treating Mm -hmm. that so trivial to say, Respond to what we say as you would to the voice of God. That's the very Mm -hmm. definition of inspired and infallible. And anyone who isn't should not talk like that. Mm -hmm. No, I definitely understand what you're saying. Yeah. I definitely get that. And I respect that, absolutely. Yeah. Um, How do you deal with it? So when it comes to the governing body, Uh because we have scripture based off talking about the faithful and discreet slave, and that's the channel yeah. that Jehovah God uses yeah. to feed his people on yeah. earth today. So when it comes to them, they do the best that they can, as in um, getting together and reading the scriptures and comparing it with other scriptures to see how we should live our lives. Is it is it and wrong so, to say that you speak for God when you don't, when you obviously didn't? Would that? Do you think Jehovah would have a problem with that? Of course, anybody would. Yeah. Knows. So they did that many times. They told people in, you sound pretty young. They told young Mm -hmm. people in 1969, Mm -hmm. don't bother about any kind of preparation or career because you'll never grow up to have any career in this system of things. Because they were predicting 1975. And at that time, they also taught that you should, the meet and do season is from Jehovah. Wouldn't that hurt your life? I know they say the same things to you all now, that you should invest too much time. But they've been saying that for a long, long time. And that hurt those people who built their lives around that. Jehovah warns of false predictions in Deuteronomy 18, 20 through 22, saying you speak for Jehovah. And the test is if what you say doesn't come true, it tells Jehovah's people don't listen to them don't follow them because they do not it's a, it's a very despicable thing to yeah. say things in the name of jehovah and over their whole history they use expressions that are equivalent to inspired but they just don't use that word inspired so that you think they never said they were inspired but they do uh, they mm-hmm. call themselves a prophet you said they called themselves a prophet yeah mm-hmm now, I will tell you this, though. I'm, I'm just going to give you my example. Okay. If, for instance, let's say they told me that, you know what, you can't accept any blood fractions. Mm-hmm. Because we don't accept whole blood, white blood cells, red blood cells. Um, Plasma, like platelets. Mm-hmm. We, don't, we, don't, we don't accept that. But we can. Those are fractions, that. too, by the way. So we have a, we have a. We have an option to do fractions if we if we want. To, Except right? for those four that we, you were talking about. Correct, correct. Is that correct. in the Bible? Why did they change it? You said everything was based on the Bible. It is. Where does where does the Bible talk about blood. portions of blood that are okay? Yeah, the the, the Bible definitely says to a thing for blood. But let me just tell you this: it doesn't tell you which fractions are acceptable and which aren't. Well, but you said yeah. everything was based on the Bible. Correct. Correct. Okay, so can you give me the saying, verses about that that tell you that now certain fractions are okay, that they, that it obviously enlightened them about that because everything's based on the Bible? Do you have any verses about that? Well, no, I don't have a verse Do you know that. previously they said blood fractions are just the same as taking blood? Did you know they said that previously? Mm-hmm. Now, let me ask you this. No, 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 no. You, did, did you know that? I just, just a quick question you know, since you brought up things, blood. A lot, of, a, a lot of the things that you're going to um, – that you're talking about or, or uh-huh. bringing up, I'm going to tell you right now, I'm not going to have full-fledged knowledge on every single thing. <laughs> That's not going to happen. I'm not going to have that. But when it comes to the governing body members that you're talking about or faithful and discreet slaves, I have full confidence in them because of the fact that they are the ones that Jehovah has appointed. Okay, what they're evidence do you have of that? Because I can give you plenty that they're not. Uh, the evidence that mm-hmm. we're definite, the evidence of how we're living our life and how successful we've been as an organization. The Jehovah's Witnesses are successful. Have you ever, do you ever listen to the news? All the time. Okay, so you know about the current 
um, scandals and payouts oh, yeah, and investigations absolutely. about child sexual abuse? Absolutely. You call that a success? Absolutely. No, that's okay. terrible. And that's they're still terrible. so small, you know, like 8 million, like after all these years. I mean, Seventh-day yeah. Adventists started at the same well, time. The they're much, that, much bigger. Well, how do you so define like, success? You said they're successful in what? Yeah, successful in our preaching work. The, successful in the truth. Successful it's in maintaining successful? the Bible. Well, let me ask you this. Are you, are, this phone call, is this for you trying to get a better knowledge or are you trying to... Yeah, I'm trying to understand right. why why you, why the same logic as Garrett Loesch applied to the papal infallibility doesn't apply to Jehovah's Witness okay. doctrine since they're not inspired or infallible either. Also, I, I did notice also that the verse that is used for papal infallibility is only really one verse, Matthew 16 on this rock. And uh, how is that any different than reading yourself into Matthew 24 with really no evidence? It's just really a parable. Peter even calls it a parable in the parallel passage. I think it's in Luke. He says, Master, something about this parable. He was exactly. so obviously. Well, it sounds like it sounds like you have, and I don't mean this, this, this disrespectfully at all, but it sounds like you have made up your mind. As regards to Jehovah's Witnesses. Yeah, it's not, right? it's not difficult at all because I go by Jehovah's okay. Test, a Jehovah's a test a of False Prophets. Hello? Yeah. Hello? Yeah, uh-huh. Okay, yeah, so... Would that be in the case? Because it sounds like you have definitely made up your mind as to how you feel about Jehovah's Witnesses. Yeah, I'm so cu- I've am so. seen it ruin so many families and so many lives. I was just wondering, mm-hmm. why do you, what evidence do you have that they speak yeah. for Jehovah? Let me just give you one example. This generation, do you know how many def- different definitions they've had of that as far mm-hmm. as either who it was or what the time frame is? Mm-hmm. Do you, uh, uh-huh, isn't an answer. I'm, I'm asking, do you know? Well, I'll tell you this, man. I'll tell you this. Since you have already made up your mind on how you feel about Jehovah's Witnesses, and there's really no point in continuing this conversation because of the fact that everything you're bringing up, everything you're saying is how you feel. Uh, it's an emotion? It's not, it's how many generations, how many definitions of this generation is a, an emotion? Do you know they first applied it to worldly people? Correct, ma'am. All, all of that you're saying right now. Then they said it was Jehovah's that promise right that the people that saw 1914 wouldn't die okay. until paradise started. Is that okay to call it Jehovah's promise instead of just maybe our idea? It you was in their okay magazine. To, Is it okay to go around telling people that's Jehovah's promise? Stuff this is of, in the Bible, absolutely. They changed it since then. Since what? Since they said that the people living in 1914 would see the paradise, they called it Jehovah's promise. See, when you is that okay to that, do that? Like I said, that has been yeah, it's okay. It's it is. Like, here's the thing: it's not okay. Is it okay for other, the Pope to claim infallibility and say that the things he teaches are from Jehovah? What about Harold? What, what about Harold Camping? What about Herbert W. Armstrong? What about David Koresh? They claim the same thing. So it was. Mm-hmm. Is it okay for them too? It's not okay if oh. you know the truth. No, listen, listen. It's not okay if you know the truth and you're talking something else. You're preaching oh, okay. something else. So it is okay so if you sincerely think it and you can go around telling people actually, Jehovah said this when he didn't. The Bible, what is no, but the Bible can be used uh, out of context like they do. They just cherry pick okay. verses. Um, and okay. it specifically says, okay, ma'am. So have you ever read you, Deuteronomy 18? This conversation is not going to go anywhere. Have you ever read that passage? I'm talking about that. the Bible here. So I'm going to let you go. Yeah. Have you ever read and that if you passage? Have any other, if you have any other questions, you can visit our website. Or if you want to, you can request a Bible study. Have you ever so read that passage? Have you ever? I am going to end this conversation. Have you ever read that passage? 